What's up guys, Phoenix here. This video is going to be another Dev Pro Duel video. Not playing in ranked because we're still playing with the Dragoonie deck and we're still playing with Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon and that card is not TCG Lego yet because Shining Victories has not been released nor has it had a Sneakum Peekum. But, uh, this hand is pretty legit. I literally hate going first though, so I'm probably actually just going to pass, maybe? Um, or can I just put up a board that actually just really matters? Um, well let's see, I've got this, I've got that. I really don't want to do anything with this hand. Yep, this is going to pass. Literally do not want to do a single thing with that hand. I literally just want to go second. Literally every deck in the format right now wants to go first. BA variants, uh, except for the Trapless build, they all want to go first. Um, like, the Phantom Knight BA deck, which is the most represented deck in the format, currently wants to go first. All these different things make it factors. Alright, so he just added a Dark Magic attack. He's playing the Magician Support. I literally did not want to play against this, and I should have picked TCG Legal only as my thing, but I actually can't because of Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon. I just addressed this. Haha! -ha! I literally would love to play against only decks that are like something that I would be playing post Shining Victories format and not like this garbage that we don't get for another six or seven months. Uh, basically. And like the Magician deck's not even doing well in the OCG either. Like, it's. And it has more cards than we do. Like, we don't even know if we're getting Eternal Soul or not. I literally got to pass my turn for free, and nothing happened to me that was bad. Wow. Alright, well, uh, I'm pretty sure there's like a Magician's Navigate down here somewhere. So I'm literally just going to literally just do everything I can to bait every card out, uh, to bait out like this thing banishing and all that nonsense, uh, because, you know, I can just do that. I probably should have played Ravine, ditched a card, and gotten like Phalanx, maybe? But like even then, this is still perfectly fine as is. In terms of what my play string is, because I can literally use the Garuda uh, in form and function to allow me to do a Gator play without even needing any of this. Uh, so, the thing here is that I can pop either of these, or I can just pop the circle. And so, what I can do is I can pop circle and not to worry about anything banishing anything ever again, and then I can scrap dragon the other two. Or I can go ahead and pop one of these in, like, fear of it being a solemn strike. Uh, but I'm just going to pop circle, simply because that's the only real way that he interacts with any of my stuff on my turn. Uh, that's actually just really key. The Magician deck in general, the Dark Magician deck, heavily relies on this card on, to play on my turn. Uh, that's, that's actually just the thing. But, uh, so I'll play this Ravine, and I'm going to use it to add a, a Phalanx to my hand, discarding this Mistleton. And so what's going to happen is I'm going to cycle through my plays because of this Garuda being in my hands and allowing me to go into like Gate Egg and stuff like that. Uh, now, a few of you wanted my deck list, and I'm pretty sure the smart ones of you could actually just completely figure out what my deck list is based off thing I, things I've said and cards you've seen me play. Uh, so like, that's uh, kind of the thing that I'm going with here because, like I said, I don't want to put a deck list out there for this deck specifically because this is like my thing until I get it 100% right. Like, that's just the thing. Um, like, I don't want to put it out there until I feel like I have it right. And so, doing just some testing, like, with it. That's literally what I'm doing. Like, that's all I'm doing, and that's why I'm doing it. Uh, but, so, let's see if this Atom resolves. Literally everything resolving here is literally everything going to resolve. That's kind of heartbreaking. And I still have a normal summon, too. Uh, that's actually what's the most messed up, is that I get to get this Atom out and go into my whole red eyes shenanigans um, and I'm gonna be able to summon well, I should have actually overlaid with this in Gator instead because of the fact that um, what I get to do here well I get to use Gator to search ducks and discard for length so that that fact has not changed but the issue that currently exists is that uh, I need to be able to scrap dragon two times which means I've got to summon scrap dragon pop itself and then uh, red med it back. But actually, that's possible, yes? Oh yeah, it's possible strictly because of the fact that um, that uh, I'll be able to normal summon ducks, and that's just a level eight, yeah, so. I don't know why I'm tripping. But uh, yeah, so I get to activate Zephyros as well. Bouncing red eyes. I can't believe that these cards are literally nothing. Um, they're either nothing or he's literally just waiting for like the best, literal best moment. Uh, to use the cards, and I mean, I can't argue against that, but actually what I get to do here is I can make Ptolemy, and I can add back one of my Hieratics, and then I can uh, banish the Atom, summon the Red Med, and I can get Sue, and I can just pop that one of those back row. Like, that's actually just like one of the amazing plays that this deck allows you to just do, 
is the fact that you just are able to do all these different things. Um, but uh, I need Galaxy Serpent only. I do not need Labradorite Dragon, and I think I'm going to summon Gaydurg again in this combo string. Um, so I'm not sure. I'm just, I know I'm not going to need Labradorite Dragon again because I'm going to be going straight into Scrab Dragon. So I will add back uh, Tefnuit here, and then this uh, Red Med will get special summoned over the Atom so that the Sue hits the Graveyard, and then Red Med gets to activate getting back to the Sue. And then I just get to pop more background. I'm literally just going combo heavy. Gotta get it with the combos. Magicians navigate. Okay, so I guess it wasn't alive. Uh, interesting. But now I literally get to make. Um, I get to make a scrap dragon here, or I can just make bouncer. Um, the thing is, my my board is kind of clogged, so I think I have to make scrap dragon and just pop itself. Because then I can normal summon ducks and then go into Crystal Wing that way. Um, or I could just go into Stardust. Um, I can go into an Atom. I can go into another Atom and get out another card out of the deck. Uh, yeah. I think we'll do that. Yeah. That, that seems how that'll work. That seems pretty alright. I just don't want to lose to a like, really choice Raigeki. Uh, that's the biggest issue. Um, so I think I have to make Stardust. Strictly, strictly on the basis of I don't want to lose to Raigeki. I think so, maybe? Guys? Anyone? <laughs> anyone Anyone feel the same? Uh, so what I can do is, yeah, I'll just make the Atom here. I can actually just normal summon the ducks and just not use its effect. Uh, and then I'd be able to have Bouncer plus Stardust, but I'd rather actually just get full value um, out of literally everything that I'm doing. So this is going to summon, uh, I think... Mistleton is the card I just don't want in my deck simply because I'd rather have them all cycled through and out and I'll make a scrap dragon here and I'll use it I'll set it up as a floater by popping itself to pop the back row um, because if I put a Gaia dragon on top of this stuff well actually I can just make crystal wing here because that'll negate like choice gores is and stuff like that like if if I run into a Gors, a Battle Fader, a Speedroid Minko, any of these things, like, I would be rather upset. Slightly. And I would rather not deal with those, especially since I have something like Gaia Charger in the extra deck, to allow me to just have game this turn. So, yeah, we'll just go with that. Um, especially since, like, I mean, I don't want to give him turns that he doesn't deserve. Uh, because of the fact that he wasn't able to disrupt my plays. So, we'll just go with this. Um, I'm curious as to why the Magician's Navigate didn't activate. Oh, it's a Crystal Seer. Um, <laughs> so this is doing 25 over the Crystal Seer, and then I'm attacking with all of these. <laughs> alright, interesting. Okay, well, uh, alright. But yeah, like, I don't know how I feel about the Dark Magician deck in general. I touched on this earlier in the video, simply because, like, it's not even doing well in the OCG, and it's really good at playing on your opponent's turn, but it's not even doing that well, and they have Eternal Soul, and we have no idea when we're getting that card imported. Um, so, like, I have no idea if it's even worth even looking forward to in the TCG or not. I know we have stuff like Demok that's legal here now, but, like, Demok sucks because, like, it's good for the Dark Magician deck only, but it's, like, still, you have to, like, dedication of Light and Darkness into that thing because, like, that's only the... That's really the only effective way to summon it. There's all these different factors. Um, and the fact that Demok has severely been neutered and the fact that it doesn't add the spell back until the end phase, that's kind of terrible as well. So, I mean, all these different things come into play. But anyway, that's going to be it for this video. I really didn't want to play against Dark Magicians, the Dark Magician deck, the new Dark Magician support. But, like, I mean, that's the luck of the draw in terms of, like, what I got for videos. So I guess it was decent. I guess. Who knows? But anyway, that's it for this video, as I've already said. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe to all the nonsense you usually do. Links are in the description to my Facebook links, Twitch links, and a playlist to the background music I use. If you're interested in any of those, definitely check those out. If you want to support me, clicking ads on my videos and disabling ad block when you view them is more than sufficient. I cannot express how much it helps, nor how much it would be appreciated by myself. But, like I've said, I'm not going to give you the deck list for this deck yet, because I'm still testing it, still changing things around, trying to get everything right for the new format, because the fact that we do not have Chicken Game anymore, and three upstarts, like, those have all been taking, we've literally lost, like, six consistency cards, like, um, that's an issue, so I'm trying to make sure everything that I'm doing is correct to move forward with the deck, before I even put out a deck list, but 
Other than that, that's all for this video, guys. Uh, thanks for listening to me ramble, as usual. And as always, guys, take care.